guys, I'm back with another build update. This is the media build version 5.0. I'm going to jump right into it and show you guys how to install it. All right. So the first thing you want to do is go to your file manager. Go to the cog wheel right up top right here. You go to a file manager. And then you'll go to add source. And then click on none. The source you'll put in there is right here. It's http colon forward slash forward slash Stephen TV Wizard dot XYZ forward slash wizard. Alright, the link will also be in the description down below. You can name it whatever you wish. I left it as wizard. Okay, and when you're done changing in the name or when you're done with the section, you just press OK. Alright, to make sure you put the link in correctly, you can always double check. You'll go to whatever you named it, or in my case, wizard. And I see an item in there, so um, I entered it correctly. So you'll back out. Then you scroll down to add-ons. Then you go to the Opus package on the top left corner. Then install from zip file. Now you're going to scroll down to wizard or to whatever you named it then install the wizard alright the wizard is installed me I like to uncheck the auto maintenance feature in this particular wizard you could you know check whatever you want to check off to keep and stuff like that but I uncheck that, this one and this one. I hit continue. Then I'll go to build menu. Now I'm going to scroll down to the media build version 5.0. Alright, now I'm going to scroll down to standard install if you're already on a different build or <clears throat> you know if you're already on a different build you could do a fresh start with me I'm already on a clean copy of Cody so I'm gonna just do a standard install it says would you like to download and install I click yes install And if you've noticed with with almost all my builds, with most of my builds, um, there's not a lot, a lot, a lot of add-ons in the builds because I feel like the you know the the scrapers they scraping from the same scraper, the NAND scraper, I believe, and they give you the same links. You know, you can have all these forks, all these different add-ons, but they scraping the same links. So it beats the purpose of having all those add-ons that scrape from the same place. I mean, yeah, the layout is, you know, a little different. It looks different. But, um, you know, some of them just scrape from the same, from the same place. You get the same links. So, you know, I don't see no purpose in having all those add-ons in there if it's going to do that. You know, certain add-ons have different functions. You know, some add-ons you can use your rail to bread or, you know, your track to count. Some don't. But for the most part, from what I've noticed, most of these add-ons scrape from the same, from the same place. So, yeah, so I try to stay away from most add-ons that, you know, it, it, it makes no sense. Alright, so it finished downloading. Now it's extracting the files. Alright, so it's done everything. Would you like to foreclose Cody or reload profile? I'll go to foreclose. 
All right. I'm on a different screen. Let me go back to my home screen. All right. So after you foreclose Cody, you want to go back into Cody. All right, so here you have it. It's the Media Build version 5.0. Now, for any build, you want to give it a chance for it to settle in. Let us it do its thing in the background. Grab all the fan art, all the posters. Now you want to start jumping right into it. Alright, did some updates. Wait for the widgets to pop up. All right, I'm going to just go to each category and make sure everything pops up correctly. All right, so let me start from here. We have the extended info mod, the metallic, your movies, your TV shows, your kids, your sports, your live TV, your news, your Latino section, music, your apps, your favorites, your weather and system all right so before I do anything I like to make some changes to my Cody to make sure it runs smoothly for me what I'll do is I'll go into the Steven TV wizard you could do this also if you wish or you could just skip this step and um and go on with the video but for me, let me just do this. I'll go to maintenance. I like to put my tweaks in. My system tweaks and fixes. I scroll down to quick configure advanced settings dot XML. Alright, where it says video cache. Now if you want to change this, make sure you don't give it too much RAM or your full, your Cody wear will um, close, it will crash. But since I'm on my on a NVIDIA shield, I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'm going to leave it at um, 720. I mean 720, 270. Alright, let's scroll down. The CRL timeout, I leave that at 10 seconds. I'm not changing it. Press down again. Read buffer factor. This one you could play around with. It's not going to make your Cody crash. All right. I like to put this on 8. Press down again. I like to buffer all internet file system. Okay. I tick, tick this one on. Buffer all internet file system. And then write... Right file, okay. So it wrote it. The reason I chose to buffer all file system because I explained it in my previous video is that um now I have to foreclose Cody. Yeah, now because um on certain when the add-on scrapes for movies and I get these direct links, I've noticed they don't buffer, they just get stuck. And that's it. Let me foreclose Cody. Yeah, they just don't buffer. They just get stuck. 
you know, then I would have to get out and then go back into the movie and choose another link. And it's a, you know, it's a pain. So this way, you know, it, it, it buffers. When I choose a direct link from an add-on, it actually buffers and, you know, it plays normally for me. All right, so since we're here on the movie section, let's go to the movie section. On the top, we have random movies, and these are our one-click movies. All right, let's um, click on a movie. Let's click on um, Mission Impossible. Okay, now some of these movies have dual languages, so also look out for that. What you want to do is scroll to the audio button right here, and then you scroll down. As you can see, the audio stream is in Persian. What you want to do is click on that and choose English. All right, if you want to leave subtitle on, you can, but I usually disable it. It's up to you. Now the movie's playing in English. All right, let me stop that. And the widget on the top always changes. Every time you finish watching a movie or from time to time, it changes. So you'll have a different selection up here every time. All right. Clicking on movies itself. Takes you to the Neptune Rising add-on. Okay. In the submenu, you have Neptune, Oculus, F Society, Alice, Star Tech, Mad Hatter, Red Knight, and um, Elysium. Alright, next we have our TV show section. On the top, you have people watching right now. Let me go to Marvel Agent. Uh, season 5 and this is coming from F Society let me click on the newest see what type of links it gives me alright I'm going to choose one of these direct links As you can see, I don't know if you could, let me pause the video. As you can see on the bottom, the progress bar, that's gray. It's buffering and it's buffering way ahead, way ahead. So I want the, the you know, the whatever I'm watching is not going to freeze, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stutter, you know, it's not going to get stuck. It, it, it works for me. Now the settings is going to be different. If you wish to do that in the wizard, the settings is going to be different. Keep that in mind. You could be on a fire stick or whatever. Yours, your configuration is going to be different. So don't up it to, to the max. Because you don't have a lot of RAM. And not a lot of, you know, flexibility. Alright, let me just keep moving ahead. Here we have kids. On the top we have family animation. All right, click on Aladdin. All right, this is also one click. We click on another one. Beverly Hills, Chihuahua, whatever you want to call it. All right, clicking on kids itself. Here you have some more kids items in here and it's coming from F Society. 
in the sub menu you have kids channels tv one two tv one four let's go to kids channels here you have um live tv channels for kids let's go into the disney channel Alright, let's try another one. Cartoon Network. Um, Nick Jr. Give it a couple of seconds for it to catch on. There we go. <coughs> Alright. You also have... um. TV one two. You have more um live TV for kids. Let me try Tiny Pop. Uh, that's a bus. Nick Jr. Like I said, this is from the TV one add-on, so some of them will work and some of them don't. And I've also noticed when you first, oh, let me refresh streams. When you first go into the TV one add on, I've noticed I had to refresh streams for it to actually work. See, now it's catching on. I could tell by the um, top right. Stop. Now let me try a channel I haven't tried yet, Cartoon Network. Okay, okay. So when you first go into the TV One add-ons in the um sub menu, you would want to refresh streams and um then click click on the channel and it will work properly. All right, you also have um, TV One Four. Let's go into that. You have some more kids live channels in here. All right, this one you don't have to go and refresh the stream. It just works. You want to give it a couple of seconds for it to, you know, to um, catch up. I'm not gonna wait for that. But you also have um, a nice selection of kids um, live channels in there. Here we have sports. Here you have the TV One Sports. Alright, so you have a huge selection of sports channels right up here. Clicking on sports itself. Go to ESPN. ESPN two. All right, you have NBA TV. All right, CBS Sports. Fight Network, Golf Channel, NHL, MLB. So you have quite a few sports channels in there. In the sub menu, you have some more sports channels. Alright, let's go to BTN. Give it a chance to kick in. There we go. Park Nation, BT Sports, CBS Sports. Let's go to CBS Sports. All right, you also have your ESPN here. ESPN 2, ESPN 3, ESPN News, ESPN U, Euro Sports, Fox Sports. Alright, uh, you have NBCSN, NASCAR, 
Chicago, Boston, Bay Area, NFL Network, PAC, 12, Sky Sports. Alright, you have TSN Sports. Alright, you also have Pac-12 Network down here. You have Fox Sports Go. This UFC fight, let me click on that. That started at 5 a.m. It's 6.15 a.m. right now where I'm at. You want to give it a couple of seconds. Here we go. All right. You have um, NBC Sports. Let's go to Live and Upcoming. All right, so you have Premier League goals of seasons coming up at 7 a.m. It's not 7 a.m. yet. But the ones in blue, those are the ones you could play. Let me click on NBC Sports Northwest Live. Okay. Back up out of there. You have NBA. Now if there's a game on, you could these channels will be available to play. Let me click on one. There's none available right now, so it's not gonna play. All right, it played earlier for me. I was watching the games, um, like around seven o'clock, I believe it was. The game came on, or before that. Nah, I don't remember. But as you can see, it was highlighted. That's why I said HD on the side right here, because I was um, watching them. All right, you also have NFL, NHL, MLB. You have TV1 Sports, TV1 2 Sports, TV1 3. You have HD Sports. You have TV1 4 Sports and Rising Tides. All right, here you have your live channels. Okay, now what I've noticed, like some of the channels, some of them, not all, probably like a good 5% or 10% of the channels, for some reason, they kick me out, but it's not frequent, but um, it works. All right, let's go back into that. So here you have all live TV channels. All right, you also have the sports in here. Okay. In the sub menu, let's start from the beginning. You have your guide. All right. Press back and then press back again to get out of there. You have USA channels. I'm only use I mainly use the either go to the guide or the live TV section and play the um my content. Or you have your options here. You have USA TV, all streams. Let's go to all streams. Here you have quite a few um, channels in here okay you also have the um, sports channels in there let's go to ABC HD all right I'm not going to go clicking on the whole list let me just try one more TBS HD All right, let's back up out of there. You have documentary, you have UK channels, Canada, local networks, TV One, um, USA TV One Two, UK TV One Two, TV One Three, and TV One Four. 
Right here you have your news channels. You have live news up here. You also have um, NFL Now, and, um, MLB Network, WWE Network. You also have some pack channels up here. And also some music channels for music choice up here if you wish to you know play some music all right you have your R&B and hip-hop and soul whatever type of genre you're in you have pop Latino rock Latino okay you have your R&B classics <clears throat> all right and uh, clicking on news itself You have your newscast, and it, this goes according by state, okay, and state and the time the news comes on. I'm in New York, so let me, um, let me try the first one. Okay, give it a couple seconds to come up. There we go. I guess it started at 5, I believe. All right, so you have your news channels in there. For each state is different. You should um, know what time. It will tell you what time the um, news comes on in your area. Submenu, you have live news. All right, you have your C-SPAN, CNN, CNBC, Fox. Okay. You have your RT News, Sky, I see a Sky News up here also. All right, so you also have the TV1 one, one and the TV1 for News. Here's your Latino section. All right, up here you have, I don't know how to speak Spanish, but um, I try to include um, some more Spanish content. But this one is the one I came across and it works pretty good. Let's go into the Latino section. So you have your choice in here. Let's go to TV online. You also have some um, USA channels in there. Let's go to premium VTech. All right, so here you have some Spanish um, some Spanish live TV. All right. Okay, when I meant by like English um content, I um it's probably it's not a lot. This is mostly based for you know Latino. So. Yep. So here you have it. <clears throat> Let's go to Nick HD. Let's give that one a try. Let me try Nick HD2. There's two links of them. Okay, so the second link work. It look like it's gonna work. Yes, it does. All right, let's back up out of there. You also have some TV series in there also. All right, in the submenu, you have your Fusion dot org add-on all right so you have some movie contents in here so you have some movies and um tv series in there it's in spanish so you have the different categories i guess <clears throat> all right so here's your uh, movies you go to the next page. Back up out of there. Here you have your music section. You have the music videos up here from the music video box. Clicking on music. You have your Django. You have music box. You have some more music videos. Okay, let's go to hip hop and R and B. All right, let's go into Brit hits. All 
Alright, let's back up out of there. You have the TV1 music, TV1 for music. Alright, here's your apps. Click on our apps. You could easily go to your video add-ons, music add-ons, pitch add-ons, program add-ons, your Android apps, if you're on the Android device. Your add-on browser, which will take you to install from zip file section and install from repository. The recently updated, and you also have a favorites in there. All right, and you also have your music add-ons and video add-ons in here, program add-ons. Here's your favorites folder. If you add something in favorites, it will be in there. Here's your weather. Information. Let's go to 10 day forecast. All right, to change it, you slide all the way to the left. You will go to settings. Then slide to the right and then go to settings. Slide to the right where it says location one. You click on that. Go set your zip code or your location is one one I'm gonna put one one two oh eight <clears throat> click on done I'm in New York so I click on New York and then click OK to the right right there now back out okay as you can see on the right there on the top left corner you'll see that it changed to 11208 all right in the sub menu you have weather nation tv let's go into weather nation live all right so you have your weather information right here okay so it's your news for your um for your weather okay and here we are on system you have file manager which will take you to add source if you need to add a source to you know if you want to add a, uh, a link so you could download repositories or add-ons here's your maintenance section Now I do have this configured to auto to um, auto delete the um, packages and cache when it reaches 25 megabytes. Okay, but if you need to do a you know a quick delete or something, you can go ahead delete your thumbnails if you feel like it's racked up way too much. For me, I just leave it alone. It runs smoother for me, so every time I go into Cody, it don't, it's not straining itself to collect all the fan art and thumbnails all over again. Okay. <clears throat> you also have the Steven TV Wizard in here. Where you could browse for different builds. Okay. and you have your quit button here we have your extended info mod let's go into that let's go into all movies you can add movies from here also to your library you just by hitting your context button and then add to a library Okay, or you could just go into it and um, play the movie from here. Now, Elysium, if you haven't configured no API keys for Elysium and it's dumbing out on you, you could also always use the extended info mod or metallic. To play your content if you don't want to put no API keys you know for the Elysium add-on all right let's go it's a new movie I doubt there'll be any links I'm not sure oh it is scraping some links but uh, let's see what's going to happen with this.
All right, so we got some HD links in here. Like I said, it's a new movie. All right, let me go for one of these direct links. I could always choose one of these other links if I want to, but I like how fast, you know, that these direct links load. Yeah, like I said, it's the new movie, so it's not going to be there. Let's try not up. Oh, it is playing. I guess I'm trying to move too fast. All right, let's back up out of there. You could oh, you could also add TV shows from the extended info mod also. All right. Yeah, you have your metallic. All right, let's go to TV shows. I use this add-on the most. You know, it's like. If I don't want to look around for content or stuff like that, I just use this. I even search for TV shows if I need to search for a TV show. And um, I add it to the library, my library. And I could easily access it from there. <clears throat> Let's say I want to add... Um, Mindhunter. I don't have this in my library. Say I want to start watching this this TV show. I hit the context button and then scan item to library. Okay. Now let's back up out of there. Now in the sub menu, notice there's um movie library and TV show library. All right, but let me show you. Here you have your update library button. If you've added content like TV shows and stuff to your library and you need to update it or if it's not updating by itself, you could quickly press it right here and it'll update. Here you have your next aired. Here you have the movie library. Let's go into the movie library. All right. Um, There's a lot of movies in here. And these are one click movies. So if you've added a movie from the extended info mod or metallic, you just slide to the left and um you have a search button right here. I believe Daddy's Home 2 I had added. But I usually, if I need to, <clears throat> oh, here it is. If I need to, um, yep, this is the one. All right, so this is the one we have added. And you could play straight from here, either from Bob, Deathstream, Elysium, or Poseidon. I still use Poseidon. It's still working great for me. Since the Neptune add-on is not included in there, so... I still use the Poseidon add-on for that purpose. Yeah, um, so it'll be down here. It'll be in there if you add a movie from Metallic or the Extended Info Mod. It's your TV show library. And as you can see, we've added Mindhunter. I might have to take a look at this TV show. Hopefully it's good never watched it all right and you can also remove items from here also by hitting your context button you go to manage you go to remove from library it says would you really like to remove the good doctor from library click yes would you like to delete the selected files warning this action can't be undone you click yes and it's gone all right And you also have a movie collection in there. All right, so you have the Star Wars collection, the Godfather collection, Jaws, Rocky, Indiana Jones. 
The Born Collection, The Matrix, Mission Impossible, Fast and the Furious. Go to the Born Collection. That's this one's empty, and this is from the Oculus add-on. It's been updated. It's on version because before to get the Oculus add-on, you would just have to download the zip all the time, at least from the source that I had it from. But I believe it's version 1.19. I believe. But this is a great add-on. It's a great add-on. I like this add-on. And I see that it's being updated frequently. All right. Back up out of there. Here you have um, action adventure movies. Let's go into that. All right, let me start from them. Let's go on the bottom. Um, what's this Yogi Bear? Let me just click on that. And it's one click also. All right, let me stop that. All right, let me um, click on Wonder Woman. All right, skipped it ahead. All right, let me stop it. All right, so you have crime, I mean crime, excuse me, comedy, romance, crime, thriller, sci-fi, horror, and western war. See it changed up here again. Let me play Pirates of the Caribbean. All right, let me stop it. All right, so here you have it. It's the Media Build version 5.0, and um, as you can see, before the I showed you this review. I've changed uh, my 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 settings for it for you know that works for me. It runs better. I'm not really getting no buffering. But um, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys soon.